Okay, so you've received your spice rack kit from Handcrafted. Uh, in your pack, you should find a front bar, two side panels, six screws, one piece of sandpaper, one back panel, one shelf, and the crosshead screwdriver. The construction of the kit should be fairly straightforward. The first thing that you'll want to do is use your sandpaper to sand off any rough edges which are left over from the milling process. I've just done the one there, but you would want to look at every piece and make sure that you've got all the uh, edges smooth. The first step in the construction of the kit is to take the shelf and to insert it into the rebate or the slot. On some packs, it will go in quite tight and some packs it will be a little bit looser. That will come together when you put the side panels on, so it's not too important. You can see that the shelf is holding in place there. Um, so the next step is to take your two side panels. We've put a dot on the ones which will match up on the back. So if you lay your kit out so that it looks like this, you'll see that your dot is gonna correlate with the back and this dot is gonna correlate with the back, meaning that the front holes are going to be the ones that secure the shelves in place. You want to remove the uh, stickers from the side panels before you begin to uh, add any parts. And you'll want to take your side panel and make sure that the edge lines up with the back side of the back plate and your first screw will go in the hole that you removed the red sticker from. Your stickers may be a different colour. You might want to take that away until you can just see the screw head begin to peep through. I'm using the screw to remove the sticker. Hopefully yours will peel off first. So the screw head's just peeping through. Put that back there. That screw is now driving into the back plate. And just until it's snug. Same process then needs to happen on the other side. You might not want to take both stickers off until you've done one. I know that that's the right one that I'm putting it in, but you might want to keep the stickers on. Took that shelf out temporarily. You can keep yours in while you go. Should go back in there. Now you're ready to put the screws in, which will secure the shelf in place. Just ensure that your side panels are resting square with the back plate and that the screw, when it goes through, is going to meet with the shelf. There should be a little bit of play in the shelf so you can move it down a little bit if it's not exactly going to meet. in nicely and we'll flip it over just do the same process on the other side just ensuring that the screw is going to go into the shelf
to your sides and your back plate are now attached. Shelf is secured, so the last thing to do will be to just secure the front brace, which is what will hold your spice jars on the shelf. Two screws through the holes, which are already put in place. I've gone a little bit below the top on the side plates. You might want to put it at the top. check that it's level so you've got the same amount protruding on either side above where your bar goes the second screw can go in I'm just going to go back and snug up the one on the other side. Make sure that's nice and tight. Et voila! One spice rack. Happy slow cooking.